All right, Chris, thank you. Well, check out these incredible pictures of Pope St. John Paul II. They were taken by Arturo Mari, who is the Pope's personal photographer and one of the men who spent the most time with the pontiff. And this morning, we are so happy to have him in studio along with his translator, Father John Simono. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for coming in this morning. I should say, buongiorno. buongiorno. Is that okay? Buongiorno. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's very good. All right, so Father, I really wanted to ask him, first of all, how did this all begin? How did he become the Pope's photographer? Come on, come on, chat, tutto questo. Come è stato? Il fotografo. La domanda è molto semplice. It's da a very piccolo, simple question. Eh, avevo la nomina dell'enfant prodige, come si suol dire, no? So, so he was. Mio papà era in Vaticano. His father was working in the Vatican. Eh, il direttore del giornale L'Osservatore Romano. He was director of the L'Osservatore Romano of the Dice mio papà, porta Arturo questo enfant prodige. And he said, eh, he brought me up to the Pope and he said, this kid's awesome. <laughs> well, that's a wonderful way to start, right? E questo è successo 9 marzo 1956. March 7th, uh, 1956. Wow, that's incredible. E la prima settimana subito con Pio XII. And so in the first week, they immediately put him with Pope uh, Pius XII. Incredible. And I understand uh, over the career, uh, six popes that he's been the personal photographer for. I want to know, as we take a look at some of these incredible pictures here, were there moments where you were ready to capture a picture but then decided, I I'm not going to do it? There was a moment when I was going to take a photo and then I decided to say no. Yes, maybe one time it happened. There was probably one time I remember. Entrando nella cappella privata del Santo Padre. I was entering the private chapel of the Holy Father. Santo Padre stava pregando. He was praying. E parlava con nostro Signore. He was speaking with the Lord. Era un grosso crocifisso nella cappella. A huge cross, crucifix in the chapel. L'emozione è stata molto forte, molto forte. An immense emotion. L'umiltà, la carità, la missione di questo uomo. Charity was just coming out of him. Non ho voluto disturbare. And I couldn't distract him. Il mio posto in quel momento non era lì. And at that moment was was not right for a picture. I understand that he retired after Pope Benedict. Is there is there one pontiff that perhaps had the most influence on him? Ah, i demi sono dopo Benedetto, ma c'è uno di questi papi che ha avuto uno influsso il più influsso su di lei. Oltre Papa Giovanni. Besides John Paul. Io ho potuto apprezzare molto Giovanni XXIII. I really have a lot of appreciation for John the twenty-third. E poi Giovanni Paolo II ha tutto un discorso particolare. John Paul II has a completely different discussion. E ho potuto apprezzare la grande cultura di Benedetto XVI. But I was also able to appreciate the immense culture of Benedict XVI. La preparazione di quest'uomo è enorme. Wow, what an extraordinary opportunity, a, a chance to, uh, to witness history and, and travel the world. These pictures are extraordinary. And I understand that Photos members of the public will be able to, to meet him as well. Tell us why they'll be able to do that. Um, la pubblica oggi posso incontrarci. Today at Our Lady of Good Counsel in Plymouth, uh, Arturo will be giving a discourse about his, his uh, career, as well as tomorrow at Our Lady of Chonsokova in Sterling Heights. Um, he will be bo giving a talk in order to help gather funds in order to build the Basilica of, our, of John Paul II in Krakow. Wonderful. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. I'll, I'll end it with a grazie. Grazie okay? tante. <laughs> grazie a lei della simpatia. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. We'll have more thank information you. on our website, wxyz.com. Just check the scene on 7 section.